Hey, John Logo here from Consulting Unleashed. I'm in Park City, Utah. In fact, I'm on Main Street. You can see the mountains just above uh, me back here in the, uh, uh, in the village. Um, I just wanted to talk about something that seems to be coming up a lot, and that is losing clients uh, in, a very, uh, in the short term. So a lot of people uh, making sales that generate a, a client, uh, they start doing Facebook ads or lead generation and then the client for whatever reason drops off after about a month or two months because of a perception perhaps of the results and the expectation of the results they get. And one of the things is, is you've worked very hard to generate a client and it just seems insane to allow that client to leave. And more importantly, you want to think about the long-term experience that you create with your clients. So uh, something, as I said, this is something that's been coming up and I've spoken to a few consultants where uh, clients, uh, they're signing clients up for 90 day trials. And the challenge or the problem with that is, is the expectation is at the end of 90 days, the client leaves. And so one of the things that I would encourage do is to not do 90 day trials but actually sign up a client for a year or look to the future and the long-term vision where you're uh, creating the expectation that the client is going to be working with you uh, long term over a year to grow their business with you or partner with you so some of the things that you want to be thinking about is how you treat your clients when you onboard them um, uh, how you build that relationship how you build the expectation of the results that you actually give your clients those are things that you want to take in consideration uh, you also want to acknowledge your clients. If you've got clients spending two, three, four, five thousand dollars a month in your services, that client's going to be spending anywhere between twenty and fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year. And if they stay with you for two years, they're worth a hundred to one hundred twenty thousand dollars. So if a client is worth over twenty or thirty thousand dollars to you, how would you treat that client right from the beginning? How would you nurture that relationship? How would you educate them? How would you uh, build that relationship so that you have a long-term process uh, with that client or a long-term engagement with that client. So some of the things you want to be considering is your onboarding process and what happens in the first 100 days of the relationship that you have with your clients. And the idea is to get them great results, but more importantly, to make sure that the expectations that you set, that they're very clear and they understand that this is not a short-term process and they understand that there is a process to improve and get better because that's essentially what marketing is all about, is you've got to be testing constantly to improve. Um, you know, no campaign right out of the gate is going to be an absolute winner. It's very rare for that to happen. So understand, think about your clients, think about them long-term, and more importantly, make sure that you have a process for the first 100 days in the relationship so that you nurture them and engage them and keep them for a year. And then if you've got them for a year, the idea is to keep them for the second year and the third year so that you can build your business consistently and more importantly, create a compounding effect. Thanks for watching from Park City, Utah. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.